This is how we bond up the 18 key module to the handheld transmitter. Uh, we put the key in, switch it to arm. And I'm going to press and hold the bond button until the bonding light comes on. It takes about five seconds. There we go. We've got our orange bonding light on. You then set your desired cue that you want to be the start cue for this module. So just for this demonstration, we're just going to set it to cue one. I'll tap the fire button. You see the light goes out. It means you bonded and the link light is going to come on on the remote control. That means you have a link to the receiver here. There's something to fire on Q1, except the light's red. That means there's no continuity. If I were to plug something into there, like an igniter, and there was good continuity, the light would instantly go green. So this is an 18Q receiver. You can see if we rattle up the Qs to 18, we've got a link on everything, which means you know that you've got like 18 things to fire. If we go to Q19, there's nothing there. The light is off. Now I'm going to show you some of the more flexible things that you can do um, with the Firestorm system in terms of like the queue that you can actually bond receivers to. So um, basically you can bond queues and modules side by side or you can stack them over the top of each other to fire in parallel or they can kind of overlap a little bit as well. Um, it sounds complicated, I promise you it's really not. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to turn on two of our 18 queue modules like so and we're going to bond them up. So I'll press and hold the bond button and with Q1 selected, I'm going to tap the fire button. We're now bonded up there. I'll do the same here. Press and hold the bond button for five seconds. Bond light comes on. And Q1, tap the fire button. There we go. So both of these modules are now bonded up to this remote control. Um, they're also both bonded to uh, Q number one uh, and also channel one as well. Um, what this means is that they're both going to fire in parallel. So if I were to arm them now, I've pressed the arm button on the remote. You can see we've got our arm led there. Solid red lights here. I can press the fire button and you'll see Q1 is firing. If I fire two, Q2 is going to fire at the same time. And as fast as I can tap the fire button, you see you can fire cues. And obviously I can also fire sequences in parallel as well. So I would basically uh, set a sequence delay. So let's set the minimum delay of say 50 milliseconds. Arm the remote. Now we can start at whatever cue we want. Let's say we start at Q1. Press and hold the sequence button. Hold the fire button. Watch this. Three, two, one. Boom, right the way through in parallel. You can also start that whenever you want and stop it whenever you want. So if we just want to fire some cues, so let's say, I don't know, from uh, like Q12 or Q13 rather, the last six cues off the end of the module, 13 through 18, press and hold sequence, press and hold fire, the last six cues fired there. So that's how you control modules in parallel. Um, you can do this with the one cue and the six cue as well, and you can mix and match whichever uh, sort of size of receiver you want. So I reset that back to Q1, I'll take the remote out of arm mode. Each channel on the remote can fire 99 cues. So really we're only using 18 of these cues right now. So what if we wanted to fire all of these cues and then all of these cues? Well, it's really easy. We'll keep this bonded to Q1. So one to 18 on here corresponds to one to 18 on the remote control. But what would happen if we went to Q19? So that's one Q after the end Q of this. So this ends at Q18. And obviously, this is Q19. If we rebond this module to Q19, it means that we've effectively shifted all of these 18 Qs up. So Q19 would correspond to Q1, Q20 would correspond to Q2, Q21 would correspond to Q3, so on and so forth. So let's bond this to 19. Press and hold the bond button again. Bond light comes on. Tap the fire button. Bond light goes out. It's all good. You notice we have our link light now because we don't have any overlapping Qs. So we can go right the way back down, Q1, see our link light is on, it means that we know as we rattle through all the queues, there you go, we've got something linked to every queue, and then Q19, we're now onto this module, all the way up to the final queue. There we go. So, um, if I now reset all the way down to Q1, you'll see something very interesting, it's what you would expect. I'll arm the remote control, our arm lights come on, our arm lights on. 1 to 18 on here, we'll fire 1 to 18 on here, and then it will seamlessly jump across to the next one. So we'll fire, 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 oh, we go up to 18, and then when I fire Q19, watch up here, there we go. So in this way, you can actually stack lots of modules next to each other, wire up your whole show, and all you need to worry about doing is continuing to tap the fire button. Just every time you press fire, you'll seamlessly fire the next Q, and you'll jump to the next module when it gets to the end. 
Again, you can do this with your one and your six Q as well, and you can mix and match different module types. So I said that you could mix and match different module types. I'll actually demonstrate that now as well. So we've still got this module bonded to Q1, so one to 18 on the remote, controls one to 18 on here. And what if we wanted to add another six Qs from the six Q module? It's really easy. I'm just gonna switch it on. We're gonna set the key we wanted to start at. So let's take Q13, so it's the last six Qs of the 18 Q module. Press and hold the bond button for about five seconds. Bond lights come on, that's great. We'll tap the fire button, bond lights go out. We're now linked up. So, what this means is one to 12 on the remote, we're gonna fire one to 12 here. And then for 13 to 18, we're gonna be firing these cues and these cues in parallel. So this is really good for like big finale effects. So we're gonna arm, you'll see we've got red light there for arm, red light there for arm, red light here for arm, it's all good. You can start tapping fire as fast as you want. We'll get up to Q12 and then on Q13, you're gonna see this one and this one fire at the same time. So watch, three, two, one, boom, 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 boom. So in this way, hopefully you can see that the whole system is really flexible. It's really easy to rapidly bond different receiver modules and different configurations. Um, it really is super, super simple, super easy to do.